Okay, it's uh, October 3rd, and as mentioned in the last segment, um, here are the hoisting uh, points for the uh, for the body tub installed. So I have them installed on both the driver side and passenger side. Um, those came off quite easily, and uh, these are installed and nice and secure. So I think I'm going to have to do a trip down to the hardware store to get some uh, hooks to install in here for the lifting. Um, I don't want to just put a piece of rope through there. Even though I filed those edges down, there is still the possibility of a rope fraying, so I'd rather not have that happen in the middle of a hoist. Um, so on to the next point. Okay, uh, trying to get close to lifting the tub off here. Um, so I've got the uh, the hoist, uh, uh, yeah, the hoist assembled and pretty much ready to go. And then, according to that diagram I was referring to yesterday, I'm supposed to put uh, something like a two by four um, underneath the wheel arch at the back in order to be able to hoist it. Well, I can tell you unequivocally that a standard North American 2x4 does not fit. So, thinking that might be the problem, I took a 2x4 and I ripped it down to about a 2x3, and it still doesn't seem to fit very well, but I'm not sure if that's because even when I try um, jacking up the tub from just at the back around the wheel well, um, the whole frame seems to come up with it, as if there's still bolts attaching the tub to the frame, but I'm quite sure that all the bolts are out. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on. So, long story short, I can't get this all the way across to the other side. So I'm going to use the other alternative that I've seen, and I've seen people put the 2x4 through the uh, window vent wells at the back here. So that's what I'm about to try. So now I just have to go and get some sturdy rope and some uh, some hooks and such at the hardware store and I'll be ready to move on to that. Try that next. Alright, um, I think I'm almost ready for a lift here. I've just come back from the hardware store where I picked up some good strong hooks and some heavy duty rope and I have it trussed up. As I mentioned I've got the 2x4 through the back vent windows rather than underneath the wheel arch. Just can't get that 2x4 under there for reasons not entirely clear. So um, I'm going to actually set the camera up um, in a moment and record the process so hopefully hopefully there'll be no disasters.
Okay, now uh, now that I've got the tub kind of hanging in free air, um, I'm going to be putting on some back to front uh, braces. So one of the things I'm doing here is I've got this is a 10 foot two by four um, camera. A good angle here. Uh, so a 10 foot two by four from front to back, and I'll be putting on these plywood braces, but in order to be sure that there's something for it to bite into, I'm scabbing on another piece of 2 by here so that it's got plenty to bite um, when I go to put the screws into it. Hello there, David here. It's uh, October the 4th, and uh, wow, I think I finally, I think I finally got it, by Jove. Uh, so, the tub is on the rotisserie, and I've managed to pull the frame out from underneath it, which is exactly what I was hoping to be able to achieve. Um, there was a little bit more fiddling this morning that I'm not going to show you on the camera because it was just too frustrating. But anyway, uh, so here's the tub, all rotatable. Let me see if I can demonstrate the one-handed easiness of this operation. Make sure there's nothing inside. Tumbling out. And of course there's a blockage. Of course. Uh, oh, I see where that is. That's just on that side. Not quite in line. So there we go. Upside down at last. Got to figure out a way to kind of hold it in place. I may go like really low tech and just put some kind of block in there or something to keep it from swinging back. I don't think I need a whole lot of different stop points, but keep going. Okay, I'm going to put the camera down for a second. It's easy enough to move it with one hand, but I'm going to try it with two. Okay, I hope you can see that now. Yeah.